Hi, welcome to Unity Tech Tutorial. This is Sonu Sharma and in today's video we are going to learn about how to get real-time reflections in Unity. So let's get started. Now what I have here in my scene is a simple environment, a set of cubes and a plane arranged in vertical fashion. Now what we have to do is we have to create a game object. Let's take sphere. Let's reset it. No, it's already reset like I want it here only but still reset it let's reset and I want it up in y axis let's take it into 5 now let's type lights and reflection probe reset this also and assign it to the child object of sphere so now my reflection probe is exactly in the center of the sphere is it is it zero now it is in the center of the sphere yeah so now what we have to do is we have to assign a material to our sphere i've already i already have created this reflection material let's add it Now you can note here that the metallic and the smoothness of this material is high because the values are high, the more good effect you can see. Now to get reflections, we have to set our environment static or dynamic and all the objects static and dynamic. So in the baked mode, we have to assign our environment static or if we want reflections of the real time also then also we'll have to assign an environment static so let's let's assign this as static static for just reflection probe static and now let's change bake to real time uh, refresh mode this tells you how fast you want to refresh I'll tell that I want the refresh to every frame. Time slicing, we don't want a lag in our update, so no time slicing. Now you go and hit Windows, rendering, and hit light map and create check auto rendering, auto generate light maps. So now let's hit play. So let's, let's not do this. Let's and whenever I move my sphere, you can see that it is updating, and I'm getting a good reflection. So this is how you can get a good reflection in your game or in any environment you are creating. So this, this is very simple if you find something diff some, uh, something difficult you can comment down below so this was all about the video and i'll see you in the next video for more you can go and watch more unity tech tutorials video like and subscribe my channel and if you have any queries regarding this you can comment down below thank you guys thank you for watching